Hey guys, uh, Mr. Barnes here again, coming to you from the fine comforts of my classroom, and I just listened to the previous video that I did, and it sounds a little bit echoing here, but that's all we can do, okay? Uh, don't get mad at me. I don't want to have any angry comments. Why is it so echoey? It just is what it is. All right, so uh, this is a log word question, and I'm not a huge fan of these questions, but they are what they are, and uh, sometimes you see them in uh, pre-calculus, and uh, you kind of got to know them, so I thought I would make a video on it. So this question sort of talks about, you know, comparing the intensities of two different earthquakes and their magnitudes. So it says the strength of an earthquake is calculated using Richter's formula, and it says that the magnitude, let me just change pens here to get a little bit more fancy. So the magnitude is equal to log of the intensity. So anytime you have just log, just note that that's base 10. So where M is the magnitude of an earthquake and I is the intensity. So the San Francisco earthquake during the World Series in 1989 registered 7.1 on the Richter scale. So if you remember that, it was uh, Oakland versus San Francisco. And uh, they actually was during a game, and uh, it was pretty crazy. So uh, in 2004, an earthquake was recorded in the Indian Ocean, and that was three times as intense. So the earthquake that happened in the Indian Ocean was three times as intense. What? did that earthquake, the one in the Indian Ocean, measure on the Richter scale. So the first thing we need to do is figure out the intensity of the San Francisco earthquake. So we can easily do that. So 7.1 is the magnitude log of I. So what I, when I tell my students when we're solving, this is a log equation that we need to solve. When you're solving a log equation, you need to recognize what type it is you have. So we have a number equal to a log. So in those cases, what we have to do is we have to think exponential form. Okay. So I'm going to go recognize that this is base 10. So the base of my log is equal to, or base of my log, the exponent is what it equals, and then i. So it's pretty simple to change from log to exponential. So the base of my log is the base of my exponential. What my log equals is my exponent, and then that's equal to i. So I'll work out that number. And that's, uh, actually, I'm not even going to work out that number. Because it is a large, actually, no, I will work it out. Sound like someone can't make my mind up. So two five eight nine two five four decimal one two, but that number is kind of pointless. You don't need an, you don't need you don't even need to write it down. All we need to know now is that that's my i. So really, I'm going to keep the ten to the seven exponent seven point one. So if anybody wanted to work out the number, that's what it is. Um, so now what I need to do this is my uh, my Indian earthquake in the Indian Ocean. So the Indian earthquake, we're looking for uh, the magnitude of it. So we need to know the intensity. So the intensity is three times as intense as the San Francisco earthquake. So my new intensity is going to be three times 10 to the 7.1. So instead of working that number out, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to put that number right in to my formula. Three times 10 to the 7.1, just like that. So that way I don't have to write all these big numbers down and it doesn't get all confusing so I'll put that right into my calculator and it shoots back an answer that the magnitude was about 7.58 which we can call 7.6 so the magnitude of the earthquake was 7.6 and that's it guys that is an example a perfect example of a type of word question that you might come across in uh, calculus or pre-calculus story and what you need to do is you need to be able to compare the intensities. So you got to know this formula. Magnitude is equal to the log of the intensity. All right, so I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in class. Subscribe and like my new Facebook page.